a sabo, he was holding them off. He had taken a position in front of the platoon. Of course, you know, I guess he was so bold it must have shocked him. And, you know, he kept fighting. And they threw a hand grenade at Liss. Well, Liss ordered the first thing he did. He picked it up and threw it back. And then, but he lay down, jumped on that boy that was laying there wounded and protected him from the explosion. And so he was wounded then. And during that time, you know, we were started running low on ammunition and he was out there running from the wounded and throwing their ammunition back to us so that we could, you know, reload. Not only was he fighting, but he was protecting his brothers. He must have known all these soldiers. Did, did you expect that kind of bravery from Les Sabo? Well, <laughs> well, you sort of expected it, and you expect, you know, that he would have done his job on the line, but you wouldn't have expected what he did. to risk his life, you know, a lot of guys can sit there and fire back, but to do what he did, to get out in front and to keep, you know, ignoring any safety for his own, you know, he had no, no idea of that. Mm -hmm. And he had a purpose that he was doing that day. Uh, we gather today uh, to present the Medal of Honor for valor above and beyond the call of duty. In so doing, we celebrate the soldier, the life that produced such gallantry, Specialist Leslie H. Sabo, Jr. Today is also a solemn reminder that when an American does not come home from war, it is our military families and veterans who bear that sacrifice for a lifetime. So I can see this is all still with you. Well, it's just like it happened yesterday. Really? 